So in this video, we're going to look at how you can use OBS Studios, Sidecar, and your Mac in order to show uh, PDFs or slides that are appearing on your iPad. You can write on them. And then at the same time, your picture will appear uh, with that information. So when I teach class, the last thing I want is just it to be my voice and a slide. I want it to be more interactive. So I do that by having my video where they can see me talking. And at the same time, I can actually write information or add to the slides or the PDF. So I'll show you how to do that uh, using OBS Studios and Sidecar. So what I have here is I have an iPad Pro 12. Uh, you'll need an Apple Pencil and an iPad, and that iPad will need to be running uh, the Mac OS uh, 15 or newer. And then on your Mac, I'm running a Mac Mini, and you'll need uh, the operating system to be Monterey or newer. All right, OBS Studios is a free install. Uh, I have it on Mac and Windows, works really well. Uh, here we're going to be using it on the Mac so that we can add in the iPad and using Sidecar. All right, so how do we set this up? So first I'll show you how to set up Sidecar and then I'll show you how to pour it all into OBS Studios so you can make videos with both your face and with you annotating information that's on your iPad. So let's start here. First, we would go into System Preferences on our Mac and choose Display. So on the bottom left, you would click on Add Display and you can see on the bottom left here, I have my iPad as a choice. So we click on the iPad and when you do that, it adds a little monitor to your list of displays here. And what it's doing is Extended Desktop and I have it located here in the top right. And that way I can just slide my documents over and just by dragging them up and over to the right and they will appear on my iPad. So you can see how it's located over here, which means if I have a PDF, for example, like this one, which I can drag over to the right, when I drag it over, it now appears here on my iPad. So I am able to move uh, software and so I can use my PowerPoint slides, I can use preview here uh, with my PDF and I can just drag it to the right and then it appears on my iPad. So now what I need to do is set it up so that it's all appearing in OBS Studios so that we can record our video with all of our components. So here you can see my face right now is in OBS Studios and at the bottom of the OBS screen is the sources. So I've already added the video capture device. That's my webcam. You can hit plus here and you can add that video capture device. You click in and then you select your webcam from the choices and hit OK. What we want to do now is we want to add in the iPad. So we're going to go to display capture and you can name it whatever you want. Hit OK. The default here is that it is the main screen. We want to switch to the sidecar display and we'll hit OK. And what you notice is you can no longer see my face because I've been covered up by what was on the iPad. So what we'll want to do here is we'll want to resize things so I can resize and relocate my face. So often when I'm lecturing, I put myself up in a corner or bottom corner, depending on where there's not information uh, on my slides. Now, I'll want my face to be on top, so I am right clicking and going to order, move to top, so that I stay on top of the information that's on my iPad. So now what we need to do is just adjust the size of the iPad image to fit into our uh, OBS screen. So I can stretch it out here. If when you stretch it out, it is not covering all of the black space. So mine is covering all the black space because I've been using this for lots of videos. But when I first put it into OBS, it wasn't. The proportions of my iPad didn't match the OBS screen. 
So if that is happening to you, go to the bottom right where it says settings, go to video, and you can change the resolution for the base canvas and the output. What we found is that to match the, uh, the ratio of the iPad screen, 1220 by 960 seems to work the best in terms of fitting it so that everything on the iPad screen fits nicely into uh, the video that I'm making. So 1220 by 960 for the base canvas resolution. And since we don't want to make it blurry, we wanna have that same level of definition in our output when we make this into a YouTube video, then our output is going to be that same 1220 by 960. So you can hit okay on that uh, if you're finding that your image doesn't quite align. So what you can see now is I have my face and what is showing on my iPad showing up in that OBS window. I can also add uh, my microphone. So I would go in here and I would go audio input, hit OK. And you'll notice that this audio mixer starts to appear. This is testing my sound. And I can change that to my microphone and put that all in. I'm not gonna make that change now for this video because I have the microphone picking me up in my screen capture. So you would add it in just like that. So I'm actually just going to temporarily remove that for so we don't <laughs> lose the audio in this screen capture. But you need an audio input. That's gonna be your microphone or maybe it's built in. Again, you'll need to designate what it is. So is it built into your webcam? Is it a separate microphone like the one you see here? So you'll find your source, and when you do that, it'll add that audio mixer you see on the bottom. Your video capture display, that's gonna be your webcam, and then your display capture is going to be what is showing on your iPad. So now what we can do is we can go and hit start recording, and we can capture us writing on our iPad while we are um, being captured in terms of uh, the individual talking, in the, the picture. And you don't have to be in the top right corner, you can be in whatever corner you want, and you can change the size as well, depending on how much of the space you want your video or webcam to take up versus the information you are showing on the screen. But what I wanna show you here, and so I'm just gonna move my face back over to the left, and that's because here I have a PDF that is, um, it is basically just a print to PDF of a news article and we're opening it with preview. So what we can do here is we can hit the little um, pen button that's on the far right of preview. And what happens, and of course my face is obstructing it here, is that it brings down this next bar and we want the squiggly line. So I can then hit squiggles. And so what I can then do is if I activate the squiggles, I can change the color I'm writing as well, but then we can actually start to write on the PDF. So you can see here, I can underline key pieces as I'm talking. Uh, so I can point out things to my students from this PDF or if I want to draw. In my classes, I'm often drawing graphs, so we're shifting supply and demand, so I can actually add in the information here. Now, one of the challenges with preview is it's like it tries to straighten your lines uh, and connect them, so you'll want to uh, make sure the settings in preview are the way that you want them. So I can write in a PDF. I can mark up a PDF. I can also, mark up my PowerPoint slides. So here I'm just dragging the PowerPoint that's on the Mac mini over to the right, and we're gonna make it appear, there we go, on that iPad. So now it's appearing here. And so I can then start my slideshow. And what we can do, although if I start my slideshow, my screen 
it takes over the other screen too. So <laughs> you you might have just gotten presenter view uh, on this one and no longer can see the OBS. So I'm not going to go into the play because right now the presenter view is what's taking up the other monitor when I do this. But I can leave it like this. And I, what I want to do is I want to mark it up when I am doing this. So I'm just going to go in and we are going to... I might need to turn off the presenter view. It just seems to be going on by default. Um, all right. But what we want to do then is we just want to mark up here. And uh, my apologies, I think the new PowerPoint, you have to be in presenter mode to do the markup, which of course creates challenges when I'm trying to not have it take up the other screen. Um, so let's see if we can get it to get to our presenter view without. Um, all right, let's see if it let me draw just from the draw mode. Uh, you can turn off the presenter view, have it just be on the one screen. I'm not a big user of PowerPoint. Uh, there's better software in my opinion, but if you are, if you use PowerPoint for your slides, then you can go into that draw and we should be able to draw all over our slides. We can go to our next slide. And so maybe we need to know that this is about demand and supply and the important of markets. So here you can just write right on your PowerPoints. And again, you can see my face while we are doing that. The software that I prefer, and of course, the, no money is involved in uh, this video. There are no sponsors, um, but here I'll show you uh, with other software. So this one is the Smart Notebook software. Again, I can draw demand and supply and highlight key important information or define a market okay, on my slides. And I can make the I can make the size of the writing bigger and smaller, both in PowerPoint and in this notebook software. You can make your writing thinner or thicker. But really, what I want to show you here is that you can write on PDFs, you can write on presenter software, whether that's PowerPoint or Smart. Um, you can write on it, and at the same time, capture your. Uh, your lovely face. And so it really doesn't cost any extra if you already have an iPad uh, and if you already have a Mac because all you need is the latest software in terms of your Mac and your iPad. Uh, you can use your lovely Apple Pencil and the OBS Studio software is free and the sidecar comes with your Mac operating system. So it becomes really easy to write on slides and PDFs uh, while you are uh, talking to your audience, all nice in one video.